Subscribe now to Astronomy Magazine. Read what the best columnists have to say. Plus, receive the latest on what to see in the sky, cosmology, planetary exploration, up-to-the-minute news, star charts, and beautiful astrophotos. Receive 12 issues for just $42.95 and save 39% off the newsstand price. Subscribe today. I'm Laura Baird, an associate editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this is my field report. I've just returned from Iceland on the Northern Lights and Lava Fields tour with our travel partner, MWT Associates. Iceland is a volcanic island famous for its glaciers, hot springs, and horses. It's approximately the size of Kentucky, with a population of 300,000, 200,000 of whom live in the capital, Reykjavik. Our group spent six days and five nights in Reykjavik at the four-star Nordica Hotel. Each day, we traveled around town or into the countryside to sightsee and, at night, to search for the Aurora Borealis. Reykjavik is a charming city filled with sculptures and dominated by Hallgrim's Church, a concrete wonder with a towering steeple and an amazing organ. Outside the city, the countryside is the real draw. The first stop we made was to the Blue Lagoon, a geothermal spa. The mineral-rich water here is 100 degrees and just deep enough for soaking. The next day, we followed the Golden Circle, a driving tour that loops through the countryside. First, we stopped at Carid, a 150-foot deep volcanic crater with a lake at its bottom, which was frozen in March. Next, we headed to Gullfoss, the Golden Falls, a two-tiered waterfall where the river drops 100 feet into a canyon. We saw several other beautiful waterfalls, including Skogafoss and Seljalandsfoss. We also visited Stroker Geyser, which erupts every 10 minutes, shooting water up to 100 feet into the air. A visit to the island's south shore showed us more of Iceland's snow-covered volcanoes, black sand beaches and villages, plus the Westman Islands. Driving through the countryside, we saw Icelandic horses, which we also had a chance to ride. These horses are virtually unchanged from the ones Vikings rode here 1,200 years ago. Also stepping back in time, we visited two fascinating museums, the Saga Museum, where we learned the story of Iceland's settlement in the 9th century, and the Folk Museum at Skogar, where we learned how people lived here in the 19th century. Our group had a great time, even though clouds rolled in every night and we never saw the northern lights. We explored the other natural wonders of this beautiful place. I'm Associate Editor Laura Baird. For more on astronomy's upcoming tours to Chile, Russia, and Iceland, check out astronomy.com tours.